sine function and cos function so the sine function returns the value the sine value of an angle but Excel VBA cannot deal with angle in degrees so we need to convert it to radians let me first open an Excel file So we know that pi radians is equals to 180 degrees and 1 degree is equals to pi by 180 radians but how do we exactly find the value of pi? So in order to find the value of pi we can use uh, inverse tangent function otherwise it is also called as arc tangent function. Uh, we know that tan pi by 4 is equals to 1. Uh, so when we send the tan on the other side that is we have pi by 4 equals to tan inverse of 1 uh, we can write tan inverse as a t n arc tangent function so arc tangent function of 1 is equals to pi by 4 so uh, I will show you the syntax of the syntax of sine function is sine of angle in radians so let's uh, go through a small example in VBA so I'll just select sheet 1 and I'll select sub sine now I'll select dim let me say pi as single I mean single in the sense uh, in TS decimal places so uh, I know the value of pi equals to 4 into ATN of 1 ATN in the sense uh, tan inverse of 1 that is pi by 4 so 4 4 gets cancelled and pi equals to pi now uh, we will displace a message box let's give double apostrophe and say sin 45 is and now you give the AND symbol so that uh, it calculates the value whatever we are going to provide after the AND symbol uh, so it will be like uh, R O U N D round of round of sin pi by 2 select comma and let's say 3 I'm sorry it is pi by 4 since we need sine 45 now select enter and run the program so as you can see sine 45 is 0 0.707 and we got here three decimal places just because we selected the number 3 over here round is a function which rounds off the decimal digits if I have to select 0 over here then you, you are gonna get the answer as 1 if I am to select 5 over here you are gonna get five decimal digits in a similar way you can do for cosine let's say Uh, 
plus 60 pi by 3 and now you can run the function you can see it's 0 0.866 since mm, root 3 by 2 but cos 60 is 0.5 there's some kind of error oh my mistake cos pi by 3 now you can run it as you can see 0 0.5 so I hope you have understood what I said sine and cosine functions can be used in VBA in this way thank you for watching this video